With over a billion views on TikTok and over half a million monthly listeners on Spotify, FN Mecca was a virtual artist and AI rapper who seemed to be taking the music world by storm. After signing a deal with Capitol Records, he was dubbed the world's first AI artist to sign with a major label, only for things to come crashing down days later after concerns were raised about racial stereotypes, his use of the N-word, and him apparently making light of police brutality on his socials. What appeared on the surface to be a project at the forefront of music and technology instead turned out to be an ill-considered attempt to create a virtual influencer without proper examination of the content being put out there. In this video, we'll take a look at FM Mecca, how he rose in popularity, and how it all went very badly wrong. FN Mecca exists as a virtual influencer in the same vein as other virtual influencers like Michaela, but he also raps and makes music. According to a genius video titled Can a Robot Rapper Make Better Music Than 6 9 FN Mecca is an amalgamation of four real world rappers Icy Narco, Lil Pump, Trippy Red, and Takashi69. And right off the bat, you can see that the visual appearance has been the main focus of the character development, the character designed to look like an artist from the SoundCloud rap era. According to the Virtual Humans website, he appeared on the 22nd of April 2019, waiting four months before posting his first TikTok video on the 21st of August. In his videos, he exudes all the trappings of wealth, fast cars, expensive jewellery, designer clothes, basically living the life of your everyday rapper, except rather than having to hand the cars back to the rental shop after filming, these ones never actually existed in the first place. And not forgetting to mention his numerous references to crypto, Bitcoin and NFTs thrown in for good measure. A quick scroll through his videos and you'll be forgiven for thinking that you were watching a GTA or Fortnite stream, but no, this is just the crazy world that he lives in. FM Mecca was a brainchild of Anthony Martini and Brandon Lee, the co-founders of Factory New, which is a metaverse media company which bills itself as a next-generation music company specialising in virtual beings. Despite not being able to find many references to Factory New anywhere outside their interviews, there is plenty of mention of the two co-founders, who actually seem to have a reasonable track record in their respective fields. Anthony Martini has a long history of working in the music industry. Brandon Lee, on the other hand, has a background in design, being a concept and visual development artist for AAA game publishers such as Activision Blizzard, EA Games and Sony. His brother Chris is the co-founder and creative director of Artifact, a digital design studio that was purchased by Nike and produces virtual trainers and other metaverse items. Together, these guys are the driving force behind FN Mecca, and their industry experience and connections have no doubt helped the rapper reach the audience that he has, as well as helping them secure the probably lucrative brand partnerships that you can see in his videos. FN Mecca plays into the hands of the TikTok algorithm, and this is what was responsible for his massive growth. To get to 9 million followers in under a year is a solid achievement. The fact that virtual influencers are still somewhat of a novelty, combined with his distinctive style, helps him to stand apart from the crowd and has skyrocketed his growth. And TikTok is the main channel that has driven that growth, and it's from here that he's pushed to drive engagement across to other platforms. Partnering with a virtual rapper, creating music that is powered by AI, with millions of followers, must have seemed like too good a deal to pass up. Enter Capital Records, who must have been seeing dollar signs and announced the first ever major label signing of a virtual artist. But in the rush to sign FN Mecca, it's starting to look like they might have skipped some of the due diligence you'd expect to carry out when making a major signing like this. Even before we get into the bad decisions and offensive behaviour which ultimately brought about the downfall of FN Mecca, some of the claims about the artist's technological background were questionable at least. Buzzwords like AI, Web3, NFTs and the metaverse are being used more often in the music industry. And in this instance, it looks like it may have been more style than substance when it comes to the technology that powered him. In an interview with Music Business Worldwide in April last year, Anthony Martini was asked to explain the basics behind the AI that powered the rapper, and his response was the following. We've developed a proprietary AI technology that analyzes certain popular songs of a specified genre and generates recommendations for the various elements of song construction, lyrical content, chords, melody, tempo, sounds, etc. We then combine these elements to create the song. It might sound impressive on first read, but it's actually disconcertingly vague. Even for someone with very little understanding of AI, this sounds like it's implementing this technology on a very basic level. Breaking down what he has said, I'm not even sure the AI is being used to create the music, merely being used to help understand the chords, melodies and tempos being used in popular rap songs. They then combine all those elements to create the song. 
There's probably a lot more going on in the back end than I'm giving them credit for, but it looks like they're overplaying how much of a role the AI actually plays in FN Mecca's output. So the music might not be fully AI, but most rappers aren't producers, so why does that matter? It's his voice that we're interested in. Well, the article actually covers that, stating that, as of now, a human voice performs the vocals, but we are working towards the ability to have a computer come up with and perform its own words, and even collaborate with other computers as co-writers. So it turns out that it's pretty much just other people rapping. It's disappointing that they haven't even attempted to use any form of voice synthesis. This is something that already exists in many shapes and forms, and I'm sure it wouldn't have been a major leap to work on developing a specifically synthesized voice, but perhaps things moved too quickly and they wanted to get things going while they still had an early mover advantage. From a label perspective, I'm already seeing a couple of red flags which would make me want to investigate more, especially if I was about to sign this artist. But then again, the record label is more interested in the final product and how they can market that, not how the product was actually made. So perhaps the AI part was just a phrase that's been easily adopted and the team have decided to run with it as it makes the whole thing sound a lot more interesting. Even with the potentially misleading marketing hype that surrounded FM Mecca, you could see why Capital would want to sign an artist with tens of millions of TikTok followers and an already established fan base. There was probably some easy money to be made, as well as all the press that surrounds being first in a particular area. But in the rush to sign him and push that first single out, they failed to spot some of the issues that would come back to bite them in such a speedy and dramatic fashion. FN Mecca might have used some elements of AI to create the music, but ultimately it was a team of humans that was responsible for the content that was being put out. Some of that content was insensitive and offensive, with the rapper being accused of perpetuating black stereotypes, using racial slurs, and posting other offensive content such as distasteful references to police brutality, all despite actually being the work of a non-black creative team. While this behaviour had occurred prior to being signed by Capitol Records, it seems the announcement of the deal was the catalyst that turned the spotlight on the rapper and brought into question how appropriate these behaviours were. Once he officially entered the music industry in a big way and crossed over into the culture of hip-hop, it highlighted some of the more sensitive topics. As the activist group Industry Blackout mentioned when calling out Capitol Records, Gunner, who appears on the record with FN Mecca, is currently incarcerated in part for using the same language in his songs. So why were these behaviours not picked up on by the Factory New Team, or even Capitol Records? Well, it's likely that they were discussed, but perhaps not having been met with a large critical backlash on anything that had been done so far, was seen by the team and record label as reassurance that nothing was wrong with what they were doing. Or maybe no one even considered that what they were doing was inappropriate in any way. After all, even FN Mecca's life advice is ironically for fans of his to stay woke. In the rush to sign the artist and get the media coverage, Capitol Records invited the industry to look a little more closely at what FN Mecca was and the problems that came along with him. At the time of recording this video, he has been removed from all streaming platforms, his Instagram account has been set to private, but his TikTok account is up and running, albeit with some of the more offensive videos removed. The details of the deal with Capitol Records are not known, but it's likely that they have more control over the music, which explains the removals from the streaming services. But the social media accounts are presumably still in the hands of Factory New, who, despite calls to remove the profiles and cancel the virtual artist, probably don't want to kill their golden goose just yet. Instead, they might try to ride out the controversy, tidy up some of their previous post history, and see where the dust settles at the end of all this. One thing is for sure, with his music career halted, he's going to have to focus a lot more on pushing out those NFTs and brand partnerships in order to make any money. In many ways, Capitol Records' mistake will no doubt speed up the world of virtual artists. As a result of the backlash, many more people are now more aware of them, which will no doubt drive increased interest across the industry. They will also hopefully be more aware of the pitfalls and mistakes that can be made in this area, hopefully leading to a more thoughtful approach by teams behind any of these future artists. There are many more virtual artists emerging as we speak, and I hope to cover some of these in more details in a future video. If you do know of any who would be interested to cover, please let me know in the comments below. But for now, that's the story of FN Mecca so far. A virtual artist who rode the coattails of emerging technology to grow a massive following and get signed to a major label, only to see it fall down as a result of the flawed human team behind the scenes.